That's right, boys. Welcome to the side of the ring because it's time for some ringside rumors. Every version of the post all out brawl story. All right, I wanted to make sure I wasn't getting yelled at. Every version of the post all out brawl story has it that CM Punk threw the first punch. However, Wrestling Observer Newsletter reports the Punk side claims he only did so to beat the elite to the inevitable punch that Max Jackson was going to throw. Those on the elite side labeled it as a sucker punch. Uh, okay. We already knew that. We knew that already. Uh, so far, that seems to be the general consensus, is that Punk is the one who, like, initiated the whole thing. Which, if you're Punk, that's not good. I don't really think you want to be hearing about this. But then again, if you're Punk, you kind of already knew something like this was going to happen. So, next, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter clarified that Chief Legal Officer Mega Parka not only witnessed the fight, she came with the Young Bucks to Punk's locker room. It's believed she was there to, quote, keep things professional, which obviously didn't happen. Next, Wrestling Observer Live's Brian Alvarez mentioned there was, quote, an internal investigation with, within AEW sometime in the last year that, quote, went on for months. Okay. What on earth could they put? What do they mean? The whole Tony Khan insinuates WWE is behind much of the staunch anti-AEW online community. Okay. Oh, are we going all the fucking way back to when Tony Khan was going on Twitter and he was talking about how there were, like, bots and how they were, like, you know, fucking... I don't, I don't, like, fully remember, but I remember he was going on Twitter and being like, oh, uh, there's there's spam bots and, and report bots or whatever the fuck, and he was like, oh, they're trying to bring AEW down. Is that what he's talking about? Jesus Christ. And it's hard to, gee, we're still talking about that? Ay, yeah, yeah, Tony, let it go, man. Next. However, Alvarez have received indications that the current investigation into the all-out brawl is nearing the end more specifically alvarez was told to expect news on what's going on with the suspended aw talent punk kenny and the young bucks and a steal very soon all right so for those of you who don't know uh michael nakazawa uh brandon cutler who else um whoever was not like ultimately involved in the in the brawl and was actually trying to pull it apart they are officially unsuspended but those who are like involved in it they are uh they are currently still i guess like under investigation it's it's, it's still it's still an ongoing thing ah uh, yeah yeah man look uh also apparently when kenny was at the japanese so he was in japan and he was doing like a game Games Con thing, not like, okay, not the actual Games Con. I'm just saying he was in Japan and he was at a gaming convention and apparently on the live feed, you could see it's on his inner left forearm. You can see the bite mark that Ace Steel left. So if there was any more confirmation that she needed that Ace Steel tried to fucking uh, chomp my boy, you know, that's there. There you go. That's your proof. Finally, Alvarez cleared that Omega's controversial line during last month's AEW backstage meeting was said in jest and not serious. Folks, if you are taking it seriously, that means that you don't believe in yourself as a competitor. All right? Just because Kenny made a, a fucking just an offhand joke does not... You know what, man? That is that is your prerogative that you need to, 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 to figure out. Okay? You got to work that out amongst yourself. All right? Next, according to the U.S. Sun, there are discussions in WWE about inducting Vincent Mann into their Hall of Fame next year during WrestleMania weekend. There is uncertainty about whether it is too soon for that to happen given the disgraceful circumstances that led to his resignation from the company. Here's the thing. You're, you can't, you can't, like, how do I put this? You cannot sit here and say that Vince does not deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. I don't, okay. Oh, man. See, this is the problem. Because he obviously did a bunch of despicable shit. Obviously. But, like, bro, he literally, him and his dad literally carried the WWE, the WWF, the WWE, literally to where it is now. And it's because of Vince McMahon and, and his, his decision-making that got Triple H and Stephanie McMahon and Shawn Michaels into the positions that they're in now. Right? Because I highly doubt Triple H just walked into the door and was like, oh, by the way, uh, I'm now in charge. I highly doubt that that was the case. I'm sure that Vince McMahon put a lot of different pieces in place throughout his tenure in the WWE so that when, if and or when, he does have to step down, it's not like this fucking scramble for, for you know, who's in charge and who says what and all that. But in terms of, like, everything that he's done and everything that he's been going through, right? Does he deserve to be in the Hall of Fame? I can't make that call. 
argue. I would argue that maybe he shouldn't. I don't know, man. But then again, maybe he should because he literally created him and his dad created the World Wrestling Federation slash Entertainment. They created it. You can't just sit here and go, oh, we're just going to completely disregard anything and everything that you've done literally up to this point. That's just, yeah, you, you can't, you can't, as much as you want to, you can't do that. You can't because he made the WWE. So I, does he, should he be in the Hall of Fame? You know what? Yes, he should. He should be in the Hall of Fame. This WrestleMania weekend coming up? No. Maybe give it like another year or two and then put him in the Hall of Fame. But for right now, uh, yeah, I would agree it's a bit too soon to, to really be thinking about if he should be in the Hall of Fame at the moment. So I don't know, man. I, I really don't think that that's a good idea. But does he deserve to be in the Hall of Fame? Absolutely. That's just, listen, I'm going to be honest with you. That is That's disrespectful. That is disrespectful to, towards Vince McMahon to just completely um, kick the kick the kick the dirt over top of everything that he's done and just and just pat it down and be like, all right, well, we're not going to talk about him anymore. It's like, no, man, no, because how else did you get here? How else did Stone Cold get to where he was? You know what I mean? Like, how did all of these superstars get to the to the area that they are? You could argue that it was you know the writers and the wrestlers, but. All of it had to come from like somewhere. You know what I mean? So let's let's just let's be honest with ourselves and let's just say Vince deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Just not right now. Next, based on a report from Fightful, it sounds like Chelsea could be getting her take back soon on SmackDown. Great. I mean, that pretty much goes without saying. This is all you have to do is just take that and then just lump it into the whole thing of like, let's see. Austin getting his Austin Theory getting his name back, Tommaso Ciampa getting his name back, Kevin Owens being a badass like he used to be. Like apparently um Elias is coming back, I think. I don't know how true that is, but apparently Elias is coming back. So you can really just like lump that in, you know what I mean? And 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 just be like, uh, you know, this is just one of the many things that Triple H is kind of like, you know, turning back around. So listen, great. I I'm couldn't be more happy for her. I'm sure it'll be great. I hope we're not going to get another testicle spot like we did. But, I mean, maybe we will and maybe it'll actually be fun. I don't know, man. I don't know. That's that's just me. Finally, and actually kind of sad to be honest, WWE Creative currently has nothing for Veer Mahan. All that. Although he's, he's coming. He's going to come. Everyone guys, stay, stay, uh, stay clear. Stay clear for Veer because he's about to come. And then he came. And everybody was just absolutely overjoyed at the, uh, not even the premature arrival, he actually took his time, okay, <laughs> he waited, all right, he didn't rush it, all right, he's the proper technique, and he came, and everybody was so happy about it, and now he's gone, that's it, like a one-night stand after you go to a, to a nightclub, and you, and, you, and you just hit it off really well, you, you blink, and they're here no more, I actually am not, I'm not too happy about that, I wish Beer Mahan was still here, I really do. I wish that Veer was... You could do something with him. But I understand because all Vince was trying to do is just have him be a monster. And we've kind of got Braun as the monster. So you don't really need, like, another monster, I guess. If you really, if you really, really want to be that way, you can say, oh, we've already got Braun. And I don't know. I mean, you can put Veer on the roster. Me, I would... I would well, then again, it's like, well, what is he going to do? I don't know. Maybe, well, okay. WWE Creative currently has nothing for Veer. That doesn't mean that he's not going to be on TV in the future. It just means right now they don't have anything for him. So here's hoping in the future there is something that Veer is going to be able to do. All right, boys, that's going to do it for the ringside rumors. What did we talk about? Uh, let's see. So far, Punk is not looking too good right now. Uh, Mega Parka came in. Mega Parker, the chief legal officer, came in and she witnessed everything. Uh, Punk also sucker punched Matt Jackson. It's confirmed that A Steel bit Kenny Omega. Uh, let's see. Apparently there's an internal investigation that has been going on for the last few months and I can only speculate that it's that whole thing that he was going on about with the uh, with the bots and everything like that on his Twitter and stuff and if he's still yelling about that then oh, vey, man, you need to you need to do something else okay 
Uh, what else? Oh, it's nearing the end. The whole investigation is nearing the end, which is fair. I mean, I don't necessarily know how far you can take something like this, so you can only go so far. All you really have to do is just go up to someone and go, who started it? And they all point the finger and they go, okay. And then, you know, over time you just start, really, you just start reworking the pointing of the fingers until every single finger is pointing at the exact same thing. Yeah, okay, I figured it out. Uh, what else? Omega's controversial line. Oh, yeah. People got bent out of shape. And that's their fault, because they're a bunch of fucking pansies. All right? You're a pansy. If you're sitting here, oh, oh he's going to fire me. Who? Who's going to fire you? Kenny he said it. The joke, the offhand joke that Kenny said, you got bent out of shape about that? That is your fault, okay? According to your son, uh, oh, they're going to put Vince in the Hall of Fame. I don't think they should do that. I think they should wait a little bit. Uh, let's shot see might be getting her tank back. Great! And Veer Mahan doesn't really have anything creative going for him, which is sad, but hopefully he's gonna get something in the near future. Folks, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Ringside of Rumors, and I'll definitely catch you guys in the next one.